Good morning, peeps. How you doing? Yeah. Yet again, here I go again. <laughs> I think it's been four days. Um, I talked to me and my husband. I had a long talk last night. And I think we're going to try to do some more, but divings and stuff. But it's, if you've seen the weather right now out here, I'll even show you guys. And most of you that know from Colorado, you should know. It's yucky. See? Ooh, wee. Yeah. No, thank you. But, yeah, I'm going to have to try to get out there eventually to do some more diving. Um, I think we're going to try to do more diving in the spring slash summertime because, you know, the weather. And also because, um, like I told you all before, for a while there, my husband and I were doing a lot of diving for a moment there because, yeah, we were trying to get our business going. Well, my business going. <laughs> With some of the the salvage stuff, like my husband said. Um, so yeah, we still got that going. And then I got my Avon and I got uh, YouTube and all that fun stuff. Um, he was working, then he then he quit working for maybe mm, I say a month because um, we were trying to look for another job and stuff, and you know the economy and all that fun stuff. And so yeah, we're we were struggling. So yeah, the gas wise of getting around to all these dumpsters and and all that stuff, we were doing it for a moment, but it started catching up the gas wise. So yeah, we got to wait until we actually have some moolah coming in and able to get gas. Everybody out there, you should know and you should agree that yeah, it takes a lot of gas money to get around and here and there and you know everywhere to do all those videos and stuff. So yeah, I'm learning. Like I said, I'm new at this, so I'm learning all the fun stuff. Um, I do do want to start doing my exploration and the haunting stuff. So I gotta find somebody. Well, my husband said this guy named Preston, which is one of his friends, said that he'll he'll go with me to some of the places and. Yeah, check it out because he's into that haunting stuff too. So, like my like my husband said, he'll go with us, but he'll be outside in the car with the engine running. <laughs> so if we come running out, he's already hot footing it to go. <laughs> so um, he said he'll go with me to some of the like explorations, like when we want to go look at some barns, houses, investigate stuff. Like I'm. Maybe going to take you guys over by some Pooter, the Pooter River. There's this really cool place where I had my, after I got married, reception and stuff. It's, it's beautiful. Bellevue. It's over there. So, um, my brain just went bleh. <laughs> As usual. Um, I've been not feeling good here lately too. That's why I haven't been on too. Um, like I told you, I struggle here and there where I have my moments where I'm okay, but I'm, really not okay um like i said i have to do now i'm doing my youtube right now i have to do lessons and courses and all that fun stuff too it's like like i'm going back to school again <laughs> ew but you know how that is <laughs> but whatever works it helps out it answers a lot of my questions and stuff because for a while there I was like struggling saying oh well wait a minute here what am I doing and I even reached out to some of the YouTubers and you know messaged some of them and stuff and to find out how this whole fun stuff works but yeah and I need to get um, some more subscribers and if you guys can share share my videos and stuff that would be wonderful too if it gets passed around you know everybody see it and stuff i'm tr i'm trying to figure out how i can find some people here in colorado that does youtube that does the exploration and the hauntings because like i said last time i checked on youtube it was like mm, a couple years or so some of them now there's some on there that does the bigfoot bigfoot um 
sightings and all that stuff. I don't know if I really want to do any of that kind of stuff because <laughs> I don't want to run into no Bigfoot. I think I seen a couple when I was little. When <laughs> my dad used to do some, uh, when he used to go up there to do firewood and stuff, we seen some unexplained things. Yeah. I've seen some things that, you know, I'm, leaves me wondering even to this day. That's why I'm, I would love to do the exploration and the haunting stuff because I have a lot of questions that, you know, I would love to get answers. And I know you can't quite get a lot of the answers, but I like that. I like to investigate, uh, find out why things, how things work and do and all that stuff and, and why I'm seeing what I'm seeing or why I'm feeling what I'm feeling. Cause there's moments where, yeah, I have moments where I'll say something and my husband looks at me like, what the, how'd you know that's what I was thinking? Or, you know, I'll do something and you know, out of nowhere and he'll be looking at me like, uh, wow, you remind me of my mom. <laughs> I have moments where I, yeah, I'll say something and it's, it's, sometimes I don't feel like it's me saying it, but you know, I'll say things out of here and there. Like his mom says, I got an old soul. Yeah. So I, I'm into all that stuff, the psychic stuff. I mean, yeah, I know we're not supposed to do that kind of stuff, but it intrigues me. It's the unknown, the answers that are unknown, you know, because yeah, we're living our lives around here and everything, but yeah, I know everybody has those questions where they're like, um, how is that possible? Or, you know, you see something and you're wondering, hmm. I wonder if that's intertwined with something else or you think to yourself or you sit here by yourself and you're wondering hmm you know where do we go from here or you know do we are we left here stranded you know for a while until you know the Lord comes and gets us or do we go to heaven right away or do we have to answer to everything we've done you know I have all those questions just like everyone else and I see things. I've heard things. I mean, unknowingly recorded some things. My daughter brought me some things that I was questioning, like, uh, what are you doing in there, little girl? Uh, talking on a recorder, and yet something was talking back to her. And I'm thinking to myself, hmm, wow, uh... That's intriguing. I don't know. And I asked her why she was doing it. She did. She don't know. She, it was when she was younger. You just give her a recorder and she was playing with it and doing things. My mom, she's done some things where she's, you know, put down a recorder for her to play with. And, you know, you don't think of all these things like, oh, wow, something's going to come through and talk to you. Or, you know, something's going to make itself known. It just out of nowhere. And... You're thinking to yourself, hmm. But in, when that happened, it's like, oh, well, you know, so on and so forth, whatever, you know. We put it to the side, always thought, well, whatever. I'll go back to it. There's times when I was like, well, I don't know. I'll download some of these apps and check it out, you know, and see, you know, what's out there and stuff. But then you get going and you're like, well, I don't know. Could that be some good that's talking to me or is that the bad talking to me? And you don't, I really don't talk to no bad. I don't want to know about like, yeah, the dark stuff or any of that stuff. I'm not into all that. I won't, I won't be doing any of the like, um, what is it called? The, um, well, you mess with Ouija boards and stuff like that. Cause I already know because when I was younger, one of my friends and I and her mom and them all had one at their house and they were playing with it. And I was sitting there thinking to myself, okay, I was taught that we're not supposed to mess with this kind of stuff because it brings bad. And I was sitting there and unknowingly something jumped on me. 
and they did not have no cats no dogs i jumped up i looked at her mom looked at my friend stacy and said uh no i'm not gonna be in the same room with you guys with this stuff and i was probably like mm, i want to say maybe 10 somewhere around there years old but since then i don't know i've I watch some of the YouTubes and I see some of them doing stuff and I'm thinking to myself, wow. And they get answers and stuff, but is it really from the good or is it really from the bad? Me, I'm intrigued on just wanting to invest, you know, walk around, see things like Patty and I think Omar does it. I don't think he really messes with the Ouija boards that much. He has, I've seen him, but he's not really into all that stuff and nor am I. Um, now as far as the recorders and all that fun stuff, I probably will do some of that in like, you know, cause you know, you gotta have one way or another that they speak to you and stuff, but you gotta, I don't know if you would know if it's, you know, good or bad. I mean, not, I mean, you wouldn't know if it's good or bad or all that, but, um, there's times when, yeah, I think about it, I feel something or I have a smell that I smell and I'm like, oh, somebody's visiting me. Like there'll be a time when, yeah, my grandma, my nanny, I miss her and I'll have something that'll happen and it'll remind me of her or a certain smell and I'm like, oh, wait a minute here. Wow. Or, you know, something happens, like I'll get a good smell, this one certain perfume that my cousin used to wear, Teresa, and I'll smell it and I'm like, oh wow, she must be visiting. There's things that's happened. Like, I'll have moments where, like my husband says, that, you know, I'll get mad and um, electronics and stuff mess up. <laughs> I don't know, my mom's told me too that we got, it's at EMPATH, but yeah, I've had moments where people tell me like, way too much information about themselves and I'm looking at them like uh, I'm a stranger but you know I guess it's part of what the Lord gave me that that sense that I have that I sit there and I listen to him and, and for some reason I mean I make it feel better sometimes yeah and then some people I'm around and they really really exhaust me mentally and physically it's like they suck the the life force out of me kind of stuff. I don't know if why it happens, but yeah. Um but yeah, on the subject of electronics and stuff, I'll get, you know, I'll have one of my moments and especially in here in our house. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> if it's something, but I'll have a moment where I'm like a little bit Twitter paid it, my husband, and our we have like a little conventional stove and stuff and it'll go on and off, on and off, on and off, on and off, on and off. And he'll be like, what the, and he'll go unplug it. And then, you know, when I'm not around, it don't do it. But sometimes when I'm around, it does it. Like I have like a, I don't know, like I send off an electric vibe or something. Um, yeah, I believe in sage and I believe in all the, like the, you know, all what we're supposed to be using, like the herbs and spices and all that stuff. Cause he wouldn't put it here on earth for us if he didn't want us using it to heal and fix the things that we need. Now all that other stuff, like those pills and stuff that the doctors come up with. Yeah. I don't like taking those, but I have to take a couple that, you know prescribed there's some that I won't take period because I'm thinking to myself I could do a tea I could do a spice I could do something other than that doggone pill because that's gonna bring something else on to me so yeah I I um I guess it's part of my Native American in me that I believe in you know spiritual the animals and the spices and the herbs and all that fun stuff yeah we're supposed to be using that stuff and not all this chemically you know 
fact factory factory produced stuff is basically what it is now um I don't even know why I lost track of what I was doing. <laughs> oh, but anyways, peeps, I was just checking in. I wanted to let you guys know that I'm still doing my YouTube. I just have moments where it's like, um, I got to come up with subjects. I got to come up with things. I'm new at this. So, yeah, it starts out here and there fast and then go slow and then fast and then slow. And like I said, I have to take these courses to learn, you know. How to build it up better and stuff so yeah i'm gonna try to be on here every day even if i just you know yik yak at you guys talk at you interact with you guys so if you guys know like if um anybody in here in colorado that does the hauntings or the explore exploration that i can collaborate with just comment below or comment on my video and let me know um, if you guys can think of some ideas that I can do, maybe, you know, if it works with me and works with my husband and it works with my health wise of me doing it, then yeah, that would be wonderful too. Cause that'd be cool to interact and, you know, be able to do things that, you know, you guys liked me to do too. And yeah, um, just comment below and stuff. Um, let me know, uh, if you know any places that are haunted or like the story behind some places that I can check out because I really want to do some research before I go out and do the explorations and the hauntings too. I want to do all that so I know for sure what I'm doing and all that fun stuff to make it entertaining for all you <laughs> and myself because I like it too. So, um, let's see. Um, uh, if you guys can like um, share my videos, uh, come and subscribe. Have your friends subscribe if they like the the haunting. Well, you know, once you guys all start commenting and let me know if you guys like rather, you know, because I'm gonna still do the dumpster diving. It's just I gotta wait until it's warm because nobody wants to be out there in the icky weather diving and you know the fun stuff because sliding around like some of the videos I did of my husband he's sliding all over the place and if Mimi gets out there yeah it's over with because I can't even control how I walk more or less sliding around that'd be a comic relief right there <laughs> Mimi on her butt <laughs> if you guys could let me know because I'm gonna do some more videos of like um my husband with his drum but I got to take the music out so that we got to work that out of how to do it where he just drums because um I did a couple of the videos and I put it on here and they denied him because of the copyright I yeah the copyright and so I had to take them off and there's no way to get the music off unless I like totally make it just uh no sound at all and that wouldn't be fun so I got to do some of him doing with, I guess he's just, he said he's going to use his headphones. He'll use his headphones for the music and he'll just jam out and then I'll videotape him. There's going to be some videotapes of me and my animals. And it, once it starts warming up, I'll do some more outside in my yard and stuff. Cause I like doing gardening and I like doing the, you know, my flowers and everything. Take you guys along with that. And then after that, we'll probably do some of where we're walking along the Poudre River or something. Maybe I'll talk. Swindle! <laughs> My cousin Des into hanging out with me and doing some videos. Maybe we can get her to tag along so that we could do some walking around the Poudre River and stuff. Or, you know, because she likes to do the, um, what is it called? Um, where you exercise to walk around and check out trailing. Trailing. Yeah, so... If we could do some of those, that would be cool. So you guys could see some of the Poudre River and the mountains and all that stuff. Yeah. And shoot, we might even find us a cave or two. That'd be cool, huh? And then go around there and check it out. I know there's a couple caves over here that only if you're Native American, you can go in there. Um, Yeah, so Mimi can go in there. And I could take you guys with me. 
you guys can see it. Yeah, that'd be cool. And see all the cool, wonderful things in there. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to put my nose ring back in. Um, hmm. I don't know. Just comment below if you guys got some ideas and let me know. Um, yeah, like I said, I got to start coming up with some things. I got to put some, they said super chat and, and, where people come onto my channel and all that stuff. But I got to do all these courses and classes and I got to get more subscribers and all this fun stuff before I could do all these other things and actually um, have my channel grow. Um, I'm going to be doing some more videos. Um, supposedly, I don't know if it's changed or not, but me and my husband are supposed to go to St. Thomas, the Virgin Islands and stuff coming up. I'm not too sure when. He said somewhere in January, but I mean in July, uh, in June, <laughs> see my brain is like blah, 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 in June and see, then I could take you guys with me then and you guys could see the Virgin Islands. That would be cool. Um, I don't know about all that. I got to do some research on that too, but see, see what we can get ourselves into. Yeah. And all that fun stuff. Um, here and there, there'll probably be comic relief because, you know, my husband, he's uh, literally a, <laughs> a klutzo. I'm a klutzo. So, yeah, well, you know, what does he say? A fix on the budget? <laughs> he said he's going to do some videos of a fix on the budget. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to come up with all kinds of things to entertain you guys and, and myself as well. So, and this right here gives me good good uh as they say therapy kind of stuff because i get to talk at you guys and interact with you guys and it makes me feel good and it also makes me socialize more and be more outspoken and and all that stuff even though half of my family's going like this rolling their eyes saying uh, you outspoken <laughs> you're a smart ass <laughs> <laughs> they always call me that I'm, yeah, I'm really outspoken. I really tell, you know, how it is. Well, my thoughts about it, because I don't bush you around the, I don't uh, play around the, what is it called? I don't know what it's called. But anyways, I get straight to the answer. I don't like people to be behind me, back of me talking. And I don't do the same to them. I would rather be upfront, forward to them and tell them you know, how I'm feeling, and I would love them to do that, too, so, most of my family already knows, I'm a sarcastic little shit, as they call me, but they all love me, um, at least I think they do, hmm, do you guys love me, <laughs> I'm just kidding, um, anyways, um, yeah, I have lots of family all over the world, all over, all over the place, um, and I'm newly with my husband, Vincent. We've been together for five years now, going on five, married, oh, three, four. <laughs> He's going to go, uh-huh. And you were at me when I didn't realize when the anniversary was. <laughs> Oops, honey. But anyways, uh, yeah. So I got... I adopted into their family his mama and my mama and yeah so i'm just learning and you know meeting all of his family somewhat that i can i mean they come out you guys interact with me with the videos or we talk on messages and stuff i would love to get to know everybody you know i'm i love all my family and stuff um let's see I don't know. Oh, I'm still waiting on a camera. Hello. Cheryl, where are you with my camera? I love you, Auntie, but mm -hmm. where's the camera? <laughs> I guess I'll just continue to use this doggone phone until then. We're supposed to get a different one, so hopefully it'll keep a, a charge and it won't be malfunctioning. For some reason, this phone wants a malfunction, but it's it's getting up there. It's only like what two years old, <laughs> but um, yeah. So um, let's see. 
My husband says something about that we'll probably do a video together of talking at you guys. So we'll probably do some of those interaction. So if you guys come up with some ideas by then, just let me know. Comment down below and, and you know, share. Sharing is caring. And also, I would love, yeah, I would love your guys' comments. And hit the subscribe button. And, you know, you know, help me out. Because I'm trying, I'm trying, this is new to me and I'm trying. I want to get going on what I want to do to share my life with you guys and, and bring you guys along with some adventures because for a while there, I wasn't doing too good on doing my adventures and stuff. And this right here gets me out. This gets me motivated. This gets me moving. So I'm not doing the poo, poo, poo. I'm hurting and just sitting here in pain. This right here gets me motivated and moving even though, you know, sometimes I'm still in pain, but, you know, hey, at least I'm moving. I'm, you know, we're all entertaining each other because, you know. But anyways, I'm going to let you guys go because I'm starting to get boring. <laughs> I'm boring myself out. Not just you guys. I'm boring myself. But um, like I said, comment below and let me know if you guys can come up with some ideas. Or like if you want to, like some of my family, hello, like maybe Richie, uh, Desi, one of you guys, or anybody else that's wanting to do some explorations, you know, let's uh, get together and, and, you know, I could do some, not just with my husband, but I know he says something about Preston wants to do some of the haunting stuff, like going to the graveyards and all that fun stuff. That would be kind of cool too check it out because there's a lot of them here there's like i said there's tours uh i think maybe here and i don't know if i'll get quite to denver but yeah there's some over there but who knows by now by summertime because we're supposed to go to the flea market uh denver flea market i'll take you guys along with that that'd be cool and if we do any garage sales when we're doing our um salvage selling I'll take you guys along. I'm going to try to take you along with everything except for grocery shopping. That bores me and I know it'll bore you guys. Unless my husband does some crazy stuff that like he did the other day and yeah, we'll intercatch him every once in a while for comic relief. But I'll talk at you guys later and and yeah, like I said, subscribe, share, comment, Sharon is Karen. Love you guys. Talk at you later. Bye, peeps.